There are a lot of videos on YouTube about the terrifying monstrosity of the sea that was the Megalodon. We've even made a few ourselves. But did you know that when it comes to horrifying beasts that dwell in the world's waters, there have been some that are so much worse than the infamous massive shark? These are sea monsters that are scarier than Megalodon, too. Number 15. Titanoboa The Titanoboa has long been gone, but it was a seriously colossal land massive snake. It was about 40 feet long and weighed roughly 2,500 pounds. This frightening monster was unearthed in Colombia, where fossilized bones dating back 60 million years were revealed. So until someone pulls a Jurassic Park and brings it back to life through DNA cloning, you won't have to worry about this one for the time being. It was the world's biggest snake when it was discovered, and it lived for roughly 10 million years throughout the middle to late Pleistocene epoch. This era era occurred after the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction catastrophe, which notably wiped out all dinosaurs as well as a slew of other creatures. This enormous snake was discovered in 2009 by a team led by paleontologist Jonathan Block of the United States. When a full-scale model of a titanoboa was displayed in Grand Central Terminal in New York City as part of a Smithsonian campaign, the mighty snake became even more notorious. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. This image here is an artist's recreation of a fascinating piece of modern folklore, a tale that's been capturing imaginations for some time now. Many, many people who live on the coast of a small island near Brazil all report having seen a four-headed shark loitering in the waters. When the first person reported a sighting, it wasn't really taken seriously. When a second person reported it, it still wasn't taken seriously. But once more than 10 people reported it, others did begin to wonder if there was something in it. The common theory soon became that pollution may have led to this bizarre mutation of nature. A multitude of scientists have insisted that is simply not possible, but it hasn't stopped the story from spreading like wildfire. Fire. What do you think of this modern monster myth? As always, comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Number 14. Sarcastic Fringe Head because these large-mouthed fish are among the most belligerent organisms in the water, the sarcastic fringe head should have been dubbed the badass angry rage lord fringe head. You find yourself in the front yard of a sarcastic fringe head's domain, minding your own business, enjoying a stroll down the sea bottom, when boom, he's all up in your face. In what appears to be one long, strange kiss, these guys will confront anybody, including one another. So maybe the ocean's Chuck Norris has a tender side as well? The kiss is actually just a way for males to demonstrate dominance, and whomever has the widest mouth wins. And they really have enormous mouths, up to four times the size when open compared to when closed. In a world where the belligerent big mouth generally prevails, the big guys scare off the tiny guys and get first selection of the girls when it comes to mating. Do they remind you of any other animals? They live in the Pacific Ocean, off the coast of California, at a depth of approximately 230 feet. So the next time you go deep sea diving and come up with a black eye, you'll know who to blame. Number 13. Grenadier Food is limited in the deep water, and finding it may be difficult without sunshine. The rat tail, on the other hand, has a distinct advantage thanks to its large blue eyes. It can detect even the tiniest flashes of bioluminescence, the living light generated by deep-sea creatures. Prey-like fish and squid can be seen darting in the waters above the bottom with keen eyesight. A rat tail uses additional senses, like a smell and touch, to discover food. It has a sensitive chin with sensitive bark that sense tiny crustaceans or worms wriggling in the mud below. 
Humans also play a key part in the deep sea food webs. Fisheries are casting their nets further into the ocean as fish populations in these sunny shallows decrease. In restaurants and seafood markets, you could see grenadier as the catch of the day. It's a deep sea rat tail fish sold under a more appealing market name. Rat tails and other deep sea fish are vulnerable to overfishing because they grow slowly and mature late in life. The equipment used to gather these fish may end up harming seabed ecosystems or catching other species accidentally. So we should make sure to take good care of these big-eyed fish. Number 12. Giant Isopod it's a legit Pokemon! The world's largest isopod, a marine organism related to the common woodlouse, is the gigantic isopod. These isopods, unlike the woodlouse, may develop to enormous sizes, with accounts of individuals exceeding 30 inches in length. These look like malevolent aliens from another planet, with their reflecting gleaming eyes. They are scavengers who feed on whale, fish, and squid corpses that sink to the bottom. They also stalk and hunt sea cucumbers, sponges, worms, and other slow-moving creatures that reside in the ocean's lowest depths. It was a thrilling finding when they were finally discovered by French zoologists in the 1870s because it was commonly believed at the time that the deep sea ocean was completely devoid of life. These creatures are well known among fishermen because when mistaken caught in trawler nets, they are known to go full Cthulhu and attack and kill everything else in the net in a murderous frenzy. So yeah, it's rather scary. Number 11. Giant Squid Despite being the world's largest invertebrate, experts are still baffled by the gigantic squid. The largest of these elusive monsters ever discovered was 59 feet long and about a ton in weight. Their inhospitable deep sea environment, on the other hand, has made research extremely difficult, and nearly all scientists know about them comes from carcasses that have washed up on beaches or been brought in by fishermen. Scientists researching these secretive animals' fortunes have just begun to flip. Researchers in Japan and captured the first photos of a living gigantic squid in 2004. A live 24-foot female giant squid was caught and brought to the surface by scientists from Japan's National Science Museum in late 2006. The biggest eyes in the animal kingdom are those of giant squid and their relative, the gigantic squid, which measure 10 inches in diameter. These enormous organs enable them to identify items in the dark when most other creatures would not be able to see them. They have eight arms and two larger feeding tentacles, just like other squid species, to assist them to deliver food to their beak-like mouths. Fish, shrimp, and other squid are most likely on their menu, and some speculate that they may even hunt and devour small smaller whales. Their enormous bodies are maneuvered by fins that appear to be little in comparison to their size. They propel themselves with their funnel, which draws water into the mantle or main portion of the body, and forces it out of the rear. Scientists don't know enough about these monsters to tell where they live, yet enormous squid carcasses have been discovered in every ocean on the planet. Number 10. Northern Stargazer this fish has a charming name that makes it seem like a mystical fish who thinks about philosophy and the meaning of the cosmos while looking at the night sky patterns. In actuality, it appears to have been dumped on its head when it was a baby. There are many ugly fish in the water, but this one is particularly nasty looking. However, you should not offend it because it is a master hunter who lives all over the world, especially off the coast of the United States. They are venomous, which adds to the terror element, but it derives its most horrific element from its unique ambush tactics, which entail it partially burying itself in the sand so that all you can see before it attacks is a set of scary eyes and a mouth staring at you. They wait until something gets a little too close before leaping out to grab its victim and retreating back under the sand, just like a monster from a horror movie. They dwell in the shallows and may be seen at Virginia Beach and Myrtle Beach, so keep an eye out for that little face in the sand the next time you're in the area. Number 9. Black Swallower 
The black swallower, technically known as Chiasmodon niger, is a Chiasmodontidae family fish that lives in the deepest areas of the ocean. One of the most fascinating facts about black swallowers is that they can swallow large prey. And when we say big, we're talking about prey that's twice its own length and ten times its own weight. All of this is made possible by their amazing expanding stomach and jaws that can swing open completely. After swallowing another bony fish hole, their stomach can expand to the point that they look to have a balloon attached to them. Because they swallow their prey hole, the food in their stomach does not always have enough time to digest and begins to decompose inside their stomach. If that wasn't disgusting enough, the dead decaying animal in their stomach begins to produce gas, which propels the black swallower in the ocean surface, killing them. A dead black swallower measuring only 7.5 inches in length was discovered on the beaches of Grand Cayman Island in 2007. A 34 inch long snake snake mackerel, Gempulus serpens, has also been trapped within the predator's stomach. Number 8. Moray Eel Morays, like the alien from Alien the Movie, attack its prey with a concealed pair of gnashers, a pair of hidden pharyngeal jaws, assist the eel capture its prey inside the gullet. Rather than using suction to draw prey down their throats like most predatory fish, mores employ a two-step technique. The object is first securely grasped by the outer jaws. Their pharyngeal set then leaps forward, bites the hapless prey, and drags it down into the throat. The giant moray, as its name suggests, is the biggest species. The largest known individuals were approximately 8 feet long and 66 pounds. Although there have been unverified claims of huge 10-footers lurking around somewhere, divers have seen these creatures in the Red Sea off the coast of East Africa. And although throughout the Indo-Pacific, the wandering coral grouper, Plectropomus pesiofurus, with which it shares the Red Sea, is a fast killer that's well suited for extended hunts in open water. However, opposites do attract from time to time. A moray will occasionally be invited out on a cooperative hunting excursion with a grouper. When a carnivore spots an eel, it shakes its head quickly to get its new partner's attention. Smaller creatures have nowhere to hide when the moray wriggles across a rocky reef, and the grouper hovers overhead, and at least one predator gets a meal. Number 7. Barrel Eye we're back into the depths, and this time we're up against a creature known as the barrel eye. This fish has a strange look about it. The dome shaped and transparent head is first on the list. That's correct, it has the ability to peer inside its own mind. The dome is filled with a transparent fluid and two extremely odd barrel shaped eyeballs. These eyes are pointing upwards so it can see through the top of its head for any prey that could be swimming above this strange looking fish. They can also swim swivel their eyeballs forward, which is helpful for things like seeing where you're going. They dwell a long way below the surface, which explains why they have to gaze up so often. They may be found as far as 3,300 feet below the surface. They're also widely distributed, inhabiting the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans. However, they only reach a length of approximately 6 inches. Uh, nonetheless, that's a pretty frightening fish, staring at you from below with its see-through head. Number 6. Anglerfish don't forget about the poor anglerfish. While some fish get to live in beautiful coral reefs surrounded by pristine waters brimming with food and the light of the sun, others are forced to live in the cold, lifeless, and pitch black depths of the deep sea. These deep sea fish, instead of being as brilliantly colored as a tropical fiesta, are dingy and homely as devils. So it's no surprise that the anglerfish has a reputation for being very irritable. These terrifying monsters have jaws packed with enormous, pointed, semi-translucent teeth and can grow to be more than three feet long. Females of the species, like viperfish, utilize a bright flesh lure to attract food, and their enormous jaws and flexible bodies may swallow prey up to twice their own size. 
the males are small and live in a parasitic relationship with the females, sinking their sharp teeth into her skin. He will eventually lose all of his organs, save his testicles, living on the female's blood, and dependent on her for everything. I've heard of certain human relationships that are like this. At any given moment, the female can have up to six males on her body. I suppose you can't afford to be picky when you look like this. Number 5. Black Dragonfish the black dragonfish, Ideacanthus atlanticus, is a strange-looking, long and thin fish that dwells in the world's oceans, mesopelagic and bathypelagic waters, generally at depths of 5,000 to 7,000 feet. Long fang-like teeth, bioluminescence, a strange form of sexual reproduction, and a manner of hunting are among the species' more remarkable characteristics. The black dragonfish, like many other fish that reside in the ocean's deepest levels, can generate its own illumination. The black dragonfish, in contrast to virtually every other species, can create light in the red infrared spectrum, as well as the blue slash green spectrum that most other deep water fish can. Because most animals can't see infrared, this offers the species a huge advantage of being able to supply light that most other species can't see. One of the oddest and most severe examples of sexual dimorphism in the animal kingdom is seen in this species. Females grow to be around 1.3 feet long, while males only grow to be about 2 inches long. Male dragonfish, likewise, lack a working digestive system, teeth of any sort, or any of the other distinguishing features seen in females of the species. It appears that reproduction is their primary purpose in existence. Cue Quagmire from Family Guy. Number 4. Fang Toothfish as you might expect, the fang tooth possesses a formidable collection of teeth in its mouth. In fact, this fish's teeth are the biggest of any species in the ocean as a percentage of its body size, despite the fact that fang tooths only grow to be around 6 inches long. And nevertheless, as you can see, this prehistoric vampire-like deep ocean fish is essentially made up of fangs. Not only do these fish have a distinct appearance, but the two fang tooth species are physiologically distinct from any other fish, which might be because they had a face that only a mother could love, small eyes, haggard and uneven features, covered in mucus-producing cavities, and thin red-brown skin. Not exactly the deep sea pinup. Add in the legendary fangs, which are so large that the fang tooth is unable to shut its jaws, and an alleged terrible temper, and we can see why they reside in the deepest darkness. They also dwell quite deep, up to 1,600 feet below the surface, making them one of the world's deepest living fish. Number 3. Lamprey. The marine lamprey, one of the most terrifying looking critters on our list, comes next. These are very aggressive predators that have been blamed for destroying ecosystems. When introduced to places where they are not typically found, just ask the Lake Superior Trout. Oh, no you can't, because invading marine lampreys have devoured them all. Lampreys are parasitic, which means they will adhere to a fish and begin digging a hole in its flesh. They'll start sucking out whatever's within after they've done this. The mouth is disc-shaped, and it has a strong tongue that it wields like a drill. They then release an enzyme that prevents the fish's blood from clotting, allowing the lamprey to feed. Some fish die as a consequence of the parasite's loss of blood and fluids, while other larger fish, such as sharks, may die later owing to the parasite's weakening and infection and the ugly wound it creates. Lampreys aren't entirely invasive in the Great Lakes. The silver lamprey, the American brook lamprey, and the northern brook lamprey are all native lampreys, but the sea lamprey is a much larger predator. A sea lamprey's sense of smell is highly developed, and it uses smells to travel and communicate. That's why scientists have experimented with utilizing pheromones and the odor of rotting sea lampreys to aid in capturing attempts. Number 2. Frilled Shark this shark appears to have given up on evolution and is content with its absolutely frightening primordial characteristics. It moves like a snake, waving its body through the water until it meets its favorite food, squid which it snatches up and frequently eats whole. It also has beady green eyes and crinkly brown skin, giving it the appearance of a living relic. Its rows of sharp needle-like teeth are perfect for cutting soft-bodied squid apart, but it can gladly devour other fish 
fish and sharks if they get close enough. Finally, the shark skills have a frilled form that gives it its name and gives it the appearance of a 16th century prince. Kind of. These sharks are enigmatic and uncommon, living deep in the waters, and we know very little about them. Our best assumption is that they are one of the world's rarest shark species. However, it is uncertain if they are endangered. The frilled shark, unlike some sharks, gives birth to live young, which hatch from their eggs within the mother and survive on the yolk for up to 3.5 years, giving it one of the longest gestation durations of any vertebrate. Number 1. Gulper Eel The Pelican Eel is another name for the Gulper Eel, and both names should give you an idea of how this eel looks. They have a huge mouth that resembles a pelican's beak, which allows them to swallow prey that is considerably larger than themselves. The mouth alone accounts for over a fourth of the length of this eel, so it's a monster. The Gulper Eel is unlike any other eel species in terms of appearance. Its pectoral fins are so little that they are nearly undetectable. It has tiny eyes, unlike many other deep sea animals. The eyes, rather than forming pictures, are thought to have developed to detect tiny traces of light. The tail of the gulper reel is exceptionally long and whip-like. The lengthy tails of specimens brought to the surface in fishing nets have been found to be knotted in multiple tangles. The eel moves by using its long tail. A photophore, or light-producing organ, is attached to the tail's tip. The photophore glows pink and occasionally emits red flashes due to a phenomenon known as bioluminescence. Because the eel's body isn't designed for hunting prey, it's thought that it employs this light as a fishing bait to bring fish and other animals to its massive mouth. When the target is within striking distance, the eel rushes and snatches the prey up in its enormous jaws. The gulp reel may grow to be three to six feet long. It bears a white line or groove on either side of the dorsal fin and is generally black or dark green in appearance. Even though it can be found in all of the world's seas, it may sometimes be found at depths of over 10,000 feet. Only when we inadvertently capture one while trawling the deep water for everything we can find, as part of commercial fishing, do we have an opportunity to observe one. Even yet, sightings are uncommon, and the first direct observation of a gulp reel occurred just in 2018 near the Azores Islands. Were you terrified by the sea monsters on our list? Would you rather face one of these guys or Megalodon? Let us know in the comments below. Also check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!